Ugh, okay. Now, finally, gonna watch a show on Paramount Plus. Let's see what's new. Kinda feeling a little bit nostalgic. Ooh, the Fairly Odd Parents. Wait, what is this? Fairly Otter? Huh. I bet this will be the best show ever. Mr. Cocker says, three minutes later. I have so many questions. I gotta report this to YouTube. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Gael here. I hope you guys like that little sketch I made in the beginning of the video. And, uh, yeah. Um, I kind of won every review time. Have, like, a little sketch in the video so I can, like... So I can move on to the topic, so yeah. The Fairly Odd Parents. It was a good show created by Butch Hartman. Until something terrifying just came on to Paramount Plus, and let me tell you, it is terrible. Fairly Otter. The spin-off show with of the Fairly Odd Parents. Like, they brought back Cosmo and Wanda. And that thing they call Mr. Crocker? Ugh, what even is that? Huh. Well, like, I don't know. Let's just go into the intro. Review time, review time. Gather all your friends, it's review time. Review time. The only cure for sadness. Huh. So, yeah. Ah, I can't even sing because that was so scurry. Ah, well, let's talk about it. Fairly Otter. Uh, it's a spinoff of the Fairly Odd Parents and uh, ruined everyone's childhood. Like, I know the old animation is kind of bad, but it's kind of like HD. Like, like 4K HD animation. But why couldn't they like do it in the... In the Fairly Odd Parents movie, starring Drake Bell. Talking about Drake Bell, they should have casted him back in the role as Timmy. Like, what the heck is this? That's not even Timmy. He just looks weird. Like, mega weird. Look at that. I hate it. Uh, they had to do my bow like that, Timmy Turner. <laughs> so yeah, I saw the saw a couple of episodes. The show is pretty good. I'm not saying that it's like, oh my god, it's really amazing, fantastic, cool. I'm just saying it's kind of all right. Like, I was kind of hyped when they announced it, but then now that I'm saw it, I'm kind of scared. Okay, let me go through a couple things. Number one, cousins. Um, so um, Timmy Turner uh, visits Vivian Turner, which is his cousin. And I like the plot, kinda. Um, his little her a little annoying brother Roy, well stepbrother. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, uh, Roy, uh, is her new brother, stepbrother or something. So then, so then in the first episode, um, uh, Vivian and Roy get their own very, fairly odd parents. But Roy wasn't supposed to get the fairly odd parents. It was only Vivian, Vivian, because Timmy trusts her with the fairly odd, with, uh, Cosmo and Wanda. Until Jorgen... Until Jorgen walked in and was like, Timmy Tana! The, these two kids have to share the puny fairies! And I'm like, what? Didn't they already do that in like, I don't know, the seventh season of the Fairly Odd Parents? Sharing Cosmo and Wanda? But now this time, it's more complicated. After one person does a wish, the other person ha They can't. 
they can't wish. The other person has to wish until they can wish another wish. What? I thought it was just, oh, it's got free, where both of them just have the par fairly odd parents in one point of time until they can both, like, have wishes. You know, I really wanted a concept where, like, Roy could get Cosmo and, and Vivian could get Wanda. But I'm like, what the heck is going on? Any of this stuff isn't even making sense. And then, uh... Vivian makes a wish of uh, of wishing that her dad would stop dancing with his new wife. And uh, it works until she wants to wish back out of Dimsdale. So, yeah. But Roy really convinces her and tries to, uh, to uh, make her stay in Dimsdale. But throughout the episode, it's just... Ugh. Like, I like it, but come on. I, I feel like they could have done better in this live-action remake. Like, actually bring back a good actor like Drake Bell. Drake freaking Bell. Like, he was amazing. He was Josh on Drake and Josh. And, like, hug me, brother. Like, what the heck? So, yeah, I... I've been watching a couple of this series, and apparently some of the old animation does come back. That actually kind of surprises me in some type of way. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's get out the papers and the pencils. So, uh, let's see here. The characters. I'll give it like a, like a 10%. Then, uh, the plot. Don't. Eh, it's kind of alright. I'll give it a five and a half. And uh, here we have uh, Timmy Tiberius Turner. Hmm. Oh, let's go to a negative. I can't. I guess just a one. And uh, what else is there? Animation. Yeah, yeah. Animation, 100. Okay, so if I if I count the one, um, here we go. The decimal, um, here we go. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the grade isn't looking too great. So for character ten, um. The plot, a uh, 5.2, 5.5. Um, Timmy Turner, a 1. And, uh, and the animation, a 100. So that will give us... So that will give us the answer of... Of my rating card. This show is disgraceful. But I still like it either way, so yeah. Like, I'm kind of a, in a love-hate with this show. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Plush videos are going a little slowly. But I promise that a new plush video will be out by the next Monday. Other than that, other than that, I'm Gael. Comment, like, and subscribe if you like this review time. And I'll see you guys next. <sighs> Got Pokemon cards. Go watch the Pokemon video if you guys haven't. It's really awesome. Did it with my brother. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.